I made a program for streamers. Kind of. So basically a while back, I was thinking about setting up a stream of a certain game that I wanted to have a counter for. I wanted to have a little number on my overlay that would go up when I collected more of something or would go down if I lost some, uh, kind of keep track of points, or if I wanted to keep track of like the number of times I've died in the game where I could just click a button and make a number go up. And I wanted it to have a text file that you can import to OBS so you can change the font, you can change the color, so on and so forth, make it match, make it look good, all that fun stuff. There's a lot of great programs to do that. Unfortunately, they're all for Windows. I don't use Windows you start to see my issue. So I searched around, tried to find some, and I found a lot of programs that could do the number counting thing, but none of them would export to a text file. They would all just be in the program. So I could do a capture of that program, just like a screen capture, and just crop it to be just the number. That would work, but it would not look great. I'd have to work around, make custom overlays for it. I couldn't just slap it on my existing one and it'd look good. So I got someone to make one for me and we're gonna look at it now I would like to preface that I am NOT a programmer at all whatsoever so however if you go to I have a github oop if I spell it right that would probably help but if we go to github.com slash it's Rogren, which is my github you will see uh, there's a couple things I've done uh, so you've got like I tried to modify a version of Geogram, which is an XMPP client, which I actually ended up putting on Codeberg, and I haven't updated in forever because I can't figure out how the hell Git works. Uh, GitHub is way easier, and I'll probably end up just uploading it to GitHub. Uh, I've got a Better Discord theme that I used for a bit before I stopped using Better Discord because it kept breaking and I just get it, got annoyed with it. Um, <laughs> It's the same thing with these. These were like themes for Better Discord, and then I stopped using Better Discord, and I just started using the web browser version. So <laughs> I don't, I don't even have Better Discord installed any, anymore. I should probably get rid of these. Uh, I have a fork of OpenSeaFace GD, which I forked in order to try to build it from scratch with uh, a custom build of Godot. Um, I've got my initial open VTuber program, which I tried to make uh, in Unity and then immediately abandoned in favor of just letting Ewan make OpenSeaFace GD because he actually knows what he's doing. But right here, this is what we're talking about right here. Number counter. I know, very creative name. So it's not going to have a lot of details on it. There's only one release. It's not going to really change much of anything. But it's a basic number counter. Uh, it should be cross-compatible with Linux, Macs, and Windows. Right now, the only binary was built for Fedora, but it looks like it should run on other Linux distributions. It's one of the ones, if we go over to it, uh, if I open it from my programs folder. Number counter. Here we are. It's just one of these files that like don't have an extension or anything. I'm pretty sure you can run these on any distribution because all the files it needs are within this directory. So like these are all the files it needs and they're all just right there so it shouldn't matter what distro you're on. But I'll just go ahead and read you through the explanation of what I put in the readme. So it's a basic number counter for Linux, Macs, and Windows that exports to a text file for use for the OBS. The code was commissioned and it isn't pretty, but it works. Uh, Brody took a look at it and he, his immediate reaction upon me sending him the GitHub link was this code is disgusting. I don't know if that means that like it's just done really bad, if it's like really lazily done, if it's gonna end up breaking in a week. I don't know. I don't really care. It works. I couldn't find anything on Linux that does this, so I got someone to make it. Uh, essentially the way it works is the program uh, gives you a box. Well, I guess I could just to show you actually. That would probably be a better explanation. So you get this. So you have your number counter. By default, I have them exporting to uh, home slash user slash documents slash number counter. Um, that's where your text files will be by default. You can change that if you want. Um, and you've got little menu, file. You choose a light or a dark theme. I keep it dark because I like dark themes. Um, and you can add a new counter. When you have a counter right here, it's gonna start with just one. You can double click the name to rename it. It's like, I can rename this from deaths to uh, say I'm doing Pokemon. We'll say these are gym badges. I can't spell. Gym badges. Sure. Oh, that is not a file name. 
gym badges. Okay, names can't have a space. Just found that out. <laughs> so it's all just gonna be one string of alphanumeric characters. That's fine, I'm gonna rename the two deaths. But if you want to make the number go up, you hit the plus sign, it goes up and up and up and up. And when it go down, you hit the minus sign. It goes down and down and down and down and down. It does not go into negatives. Don't know why I didn't think about that. I literally, I said, uh, count up from zero to them. That's my bad. I didn't think about making it go negative. I don't know why I didn't think about that. In theory, you can just put a dash in front of the number and just make the number go up like normal. It's not a huge deal. You just have to put the dash on your actual overlay, but you can have multiple of them. So we'll go, we'll go to file, new counter. We'll name you Jim's. You can make that one go up and you can make this one go up and there'll be different things. Uh, and if I go over to the documents folder and I go to that number counter folder, there we go. You'll see I have two text files. I've got one called deaths. And if I open it, as soon as it decides to open, there we go. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. There we go. You'll see it has three. And then gyms, if I open that one as well, go back over here, you'll see that one's at five, like the numbers are on here. So they're updated in real time with uh, this uh, counter right here. If we go back over to OBS, I'll throw it up on the overlay, but I can add these text files as a source to OBS. So if I take, go over to my uh, sources, and I hit a plus, I can add a text file and we can add one, we'll name this one deaths, just because I'm gonna use that as the default. And there's a checkbox for read from file. And then I can browse to the text file. And we're gonna go to documents, number counter, number counter and deaths. There we go, and now we've got the number. So now I've got this little source here. We're gonna leave it right there for now. And if I raise this number up, it updates on the overlay. If I raise it back, lower it back down, it updates on the overlay. So this is essentially what it's for. So say you're playing uh, Pokemon because everyone loves Pokemon. Jesus Christ, it sells so much. You're counting the number of gym badges you have. So you have, say you beat the fourth gym leader, you raise that up to four, and now your overlay says that you have four gym badges. Uh, say you're counting the number of Pokemon who've died in your Nuzlocke. You have lost four Pokemon so far. Uh, you lose three more to a gym, so update that to, uh, that would be seven, I clicked one too few times. Uh, so now it's updated to seven. Say you're doing one of the extra rules, like you find a rare ash, um, not rare ash, sacred ash. That's what it's called. You find a sick, there's a clause that you, that I usually implement where if you find a sacred ash, you're allowed to bring back one Pokemon who died in your Nuzlocke, which is why I typically in Nuzlocke do a death box rather than just releasing them outright in case that ever happens. And so you bring one back. Well, now your amount of Pokemon has gone down. So you can lower that back down to six and you're back down to six. Great, awesome, fantastic. I am shocked that this didn't exist already on Linux. I am legitimately surprised. I couldn't find this anywhere. I searched, I really searched. I've been searching for like a year and a half. Couldn't find anything, found plenty of, po of uh, programs to count with, but just none of them would output to a text file. It was really, really annoying. Now, when I initially got this done, the person who I commissioned it from, they made the program. I sent them a mock-up of the UI, which I think I still have saved somewhere. Let's see here. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. It's in this folder. Here it is. All right. So, yeah. So, this is the mock-up UI I made in GIMP. So just real quick, real basic. And uh, here's what was delivered to me. It's a very simple program. It's really not something to write home about. But I think it's cool that... I designed this and someone made it and made my idea come to life, which I think is really neat. Now, is it exactly what I said it was going to be? Uh, no, uh, they made took some liberties with it, uh, like having the file and edit menu be this sort of thing, which is fine. Honestly, that's the way the menu is organized is not that big a deal. Uh, they put the file path right here in the top, which I didn't do. I think that's actually a better idea because you can more easily see where the files are located. That's honestly a better design in terms of the UX. And then everything else is basically just copy paste of exactly what I said it was. Just um, just a lot better at conserving space than mine. I was just like, ooh, add a scroll bar in case it needs to uh, scroll up and down. Uh, Cause like three filled this up. Meanwhile, the one he actually gave me, it's like, oh, I could fit like five on here and I'd be fine. I don't think I'm gonna ever need more than five, but someone might. So, I mean, it should, let's see, can I, how many can I add? 
Let's see how many it lets me do. I have not tested the limits of this. Okay, so it's not gonna smooth scroll, it's gonna jump. But yeah, you can have all these things. The random names are hysterical, just having number, name underscore number series. And the numbers aren't even in order, it's just random numbers. I do find that funny. Um, I'm gonna have to rename every single one of these. Doesn't matter what they are, but that's all it is. It's rated in C++ and QT, or Q, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And uh, there's just the one release file, which is just the Linux folder that I showed you. It's just that same bin uh, bin folder with all the files in it in a zip folder. It was built against, I think, Fedora 35, 36. I'm using Nobara, which is currently built off of Fedora 38, and it's working just fine. Uh, I could show you the uh, light mode if you want, but it's literally just inverted is all. Also, for some reason, file jumps over here whenever you're in light mode. When you switch themes, now the file button jumps over there. I don't know why. It doesn't, again, it's just supposed to be usable. It doesn't really matter. But that's it. That is the program I had made. Now, who is this for? Me. It's just for me. That's it. I just think it's cool and wanted to share. But hey, if you end up wanting this and you want to use it, by all means, go ahead. I have one person watching it. I don't know who. Oh, it's me. I was just saying, oh wow, somebody found this? <laughs> uh, no. No, they did not. It is just me. I forget that it auto-adds you to the watch list and I'm not signed into GitHub right now, so uh, it doesn't hide that. But that's my program. Is it going to be super useful to people? Maybe. Am I really holding my breath? Not really. Uh, if you're a streamer on Linux and this helps you out, cool, awesome, just let me know in the comments. If you think it's a terrible idea because a better one already exists, also leave that in the comments because I would love to see more like streamer related tools for uh, Linux users because there's not a whole lot. We're using a lot of hacky workarounds. We're using either Windows programs that we managed to get to run in Wine or a bunch of people are using like scripts and stuff. Uh, if you wanna take this code and make it more elegant, I guess, or just think that it's disgusting and it bothers you and you want to fix it, go ahead. It's open source. I put it under GPL v3. So uh, as long as whatever you make from it is also open source under GPL, you can do whatever you want with it. I consider it MIT, but I really don't see a use case for this where someone wants to not have it be open source, considering how there's already a plethora of them on Windows. But hey, Maybe I'll change the license at some point. Probably not. I think that this is such a simple, tiny tool that just keeping it open source is just a nice thing to do. But hey, maybe you disagree. If you do, leave a comment down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to watch more videos, hit the subscribe button and punch it in its fucking face. God, I hate that button and I want it to die. No, I'm kidding. Uh, beat the ever-loving shit out of the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos. And then poke its friend the bell. That's gonna be it for me. If you want to watch more size stuff, there's some videos probably recommended somewhere around here. And uh, if you want to see me live, you can stream every week, right, give or take. Uh, I'm going to be moving those streams from Wednesday to Tuesday, if I haven't already. And probably might be throwing one on the end on uh, Friday as well. Uh, not quite certain when that second one's going to be. But uh, yeah, streams are going to be moving from Wednesday to Tuesday. And then I might do stuff on Wednesday. I might not. I don't really know. Who knows? Special streams. I might be on someone else's stream. That'd be cool. Or I might not and just you'd never hear from me again. You never know. Better subscribe to find out. Follow me on socials. Bye.